Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF Friday Night Smackdown. I am Michael Cole, here with Trini Kwan filling in for Lois this week, and Aiden English. And today on Friday Night Smackdown, we're going to see the ongoing saga, the ongoing tale, the bind between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. You're right about that, Trini Kwan says Michael Cole. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns both have one thing that they share that's the same. They both were, both of them, one was a, both of them had Pauly Dangerously as their overseer. Brock Lesnar had Pauly Dangerously as his overseer from 2002 YL into at least 2004 YL and then 2012 YL into at least 2012 until 2020 YL. Yeah, and both of them do not like each other. Both of them scave each other, slight each other, and shame and guilt each other. Each one of them, Trini Kwan says, believes they're the greater wrestler. Aiden English says, there was a time, a long time ago, Trini Kwan and Michael Cole, where Brock Lesnar was the unbeatable, untouchable man. That time has come and gone. And now these days, it is now Roman Reigns is a man who has been, who is now the untouchable and the unbeat, the unhand, the unstoppable and the unbeatable, and the unhandable, if that is an English word, which I believe it is. Well, and we know. Well, here is, here comes Brock Lesnar. Well, I told you I was coming for blood. I was told you I was coming for sweat. I told you I was coming for your tears. You know, you fucked up big time, Roman Reigns. You and Paulie Dangerously and James Uso and Jason Uso, all four of you fucked up big time. Because now it ain't about the TWF heavyweight winnings. It ain't about the world heavyweight winnings. It's about me putting the same beat down on you and on Pauly Dangerously and on James Uso and Jason Uso if they show their ugly lairs. See, you were a weakling last week. You were a weakling last week on WWE's Friday Night Smackdown. You didn't show up. So I'm warning you, if you pull the stun again, so-called kin leader, head of board, world heavyweight fighter, overlord, highest leader, king, kaiser, whatever, how many other ranks you give yourself, I'm going to go to where you're at, and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. First off, you're not going to be doing anything at all. So let me guess, Paul. Roman Reigns ain't here. That means it's only you, and you're gonna run off like a weakling. You're gonna get James Uso and Jason Uso on me. Is uh, Roman Reigns gonna come from behind and hit me with the real heavyweight winnings or a, a seat or something? Is that it? Well, I'm here to tell you if that is the goal, then you then you have fucked up three times. Look. I tell you one thing, Roman Reigns says, before Wrestlepalooza, after Wrestlepalooza, just like after Wrestlemania, night one or night two, you are going to see, I will be not only the world heavyweight fighter, but the TWF world, the TWF heavyweight fighter. I would have done one, th oh, I would have done only one thing in both the WWE and the TWF. I would put that so-called great wrestler Kenny Omega to shame because I hold on to my winnings when he lost his. And I put you to shame too, Brock Lesnar, because somehow you became a seven-time, uh, a six-time or a seven-time WWE heavyweight fighter, but that was after my help. That was after I wasn't there. 
So, I put you to shame because I never lost my winnings, but you lost your winnings twice in one month. Yeah, you lost it to Bobby Lashley and you won it back from Bobby Lashley. Yeah, well, whatever. Let me tell you something, Roman Reigns. It don't mean how many times you lose the WWE heavyweight winnings or the world heavyweight winnings, the TWF heavyweight winnings or the world heavyweight winnings. It's how many times you win it back. And you know something, Roman Reigns? You're not so great at it. You like to talk about your God setting that you've been on since August of 2020 YL. Oh, the God setting, the God setting you keep talking about. Well, your only God setting is a, a, a break of shit by the name of Polly Dangerously. That's your God setting. He was my God setting too. And how he was a God setting for CM Punk. He was a God setting for many other wrestlers. But I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't care how many ranks you give yourself. I don't care how many kin followers you have. I don't care if you're somehow that you're that you're kin to the Maya Vias and the Fat Twos and the Quadas and the Johnsons. Don't give a shit. At the end of the day, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna win back the World Heavyweight winnings in WWE for probably. We're going to say the fifth time and last time. And I'll still be that six or seven time WWE heavyweight fighter. And I'll still be the TWF heavyweight fighter and the world heavyweight fighter. So unless you are going to get ready to get your head busted in. Roman Reigns, you better stop talking and stop speaking now. I want to tell you something. Oh, you motherfucker. Whoa. Oh. Paulie dangerously struck, got Brock Lesnar from behind. Oh, a man strike. Spear. It was Paulie dangerously who struck Brock Lesnar from behind that let Roman Reigns beat up Brock Lesnar. Well, this this debate this truly does back up Roman Reigns being nothing more than a weakling that has to has to have his kin have his for to have his overseer and his near kin help him out in every hand, every bind he's in. Hey hey, how about we do this right now? <clears throat> Hit him with the world. Jay Uso hit him with the world heavyweight winnings. Or Jason Uso hit him with the royal winnings. And oh, James Uso hitting him with the TWF heavyweight winnings. Now, at the end of the day, give me both the winnings that I will have by Monday, April the 4th. The winnings I will have by Monday, April the 4th in both WWE and the TWF. Roman, I'm going to tell you right now, Brock Lesnar, you will welcome me as both the TWF heavyweight fighter and the world heavyweight fighter. Till then, you keep yours. Well, this is kind of sad. Well, this is truly sad, Rene. This is truly sad, Michael Cole said. What Brock, what Roman Reigns, Paulie Dangerously, James Uso, and Jason U James Uso and Jason Uso did to Brock Lesnar. Once again, being weaklings, once again, striking folks from behind. And now we want Roman Reigns wonders why no one on looks him. Yeah, Trini Kwan said, Roman Reigns always talks about wanting to be welcomed, wanting to be onlooked, all this stuff. Well, doing this shit, he is never going to be welcomed by anyone, and he's never going to be onlooked by anyone. 
Trini Kwan says. Well, at the end of the day, Roman Reigns believes by doing this, he will be welcomed by the folks. He will be onlooked by folks. That's his thought. That's his belief. He believes it will work. Well, Renee Young now is now going to catch up with Brock Lesnar. All right, Michael Cole, I'm here with Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, things haven't quite gone the way you want them to go. You're right, Renee Young. Things don't really go the way you want them to go. Yeah, I can take a beating. Yeah, I can be beat up. I can take some losses. Yeah, sure. I lost to Triple H two times, The Undertaker once. I lost to John Cena once. I lost to Roman Reigns at least two times. But man, I lost to Bill Goldberg two times. And I lost to Seth Rollins two times. But it's not how many times you lose, it's how many times you win. And I'm going to get my hands on Roman Reigns, Paul E. Dangerously, James Uso, and Jason Uso. I will F5 all of them. And the next time you talk to me, I will be both the TWF heavyweight fighter and the world heavyweight fighter. Both in WWE and in the TWF. Well, you do know in WWE, the World Heavyweight Winnings would be bonded with the WWE Heavyweight Winnings, making it no longer alive. But in the TWF, it would still be alive. Yes, I understand that. So let me show, I understand that, Renee Young. So, I hope Roman Reigns and Pauly Dangerously and Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso can get a good laugh out of, we got one over Brock Lesnar again. Come WrestleMania, come WrestlePalooza, they ain't going to be laughing. They're going to be sobbing. Well, that was my talk with Brock Lesnar. Back to you, Michael Cole. Well, thank you, Renee Young, for talking with Brock Lesnar here on Friday Night SmackDown. It looks like it is all the time we got here for Friday Night SmackDown. I am Michael Cole for Trini Kwan and Aiden English. We hope you like Friday Night SmackDown. And we'll see you tomorrow for Rampage or Overtake or Run-In.